Welcome to Political Empire. This is Jeff Horseman with the Press Enterprise and PE.com. Today's show is going to focus on a visit by a former president this summer, um, as well as taking a deeper look into uh, what's been going on at San Bernardino International Airport and the uh, alleged corruption there. So first, former President George W. Bush is coming to Riverside County this summer. America's 43rd president will be the keynote speaker at the Western Riverside Council Government's General Assembly scheduled for June 13th at Morongo Casino. He is expected to address economic development, among other topics. Uh, moving on to the former manager accused of defrauding San Bernardino's airport, and he convinced officials he was the right man for the to run the facility despite his prior prison record. Um, now, reporter Imran Gori recently wrote a story about Scott Spencer and his connections. So, Imran, how did uh, Scott Spencer become involved with this airport? Well, he, he first uh, started a charter airplane service in 2003, uh, but started eventually taking a larger role. He got contracts to operate the largest hangar, then no bid agreements to develop the airport and then eventually manage it. So how did the, why did the airport authority go along with him despite his past? Well, they said they were impressed by his knowledge and connections in the aviation industry, and he, he convinced them that he would help uh, them develop a commercial airport without uh, uh, breaking the bank. Right. Now, I understand that the allegations here involve him uh, filing a bogus claim uh, for money and what, what explanation do officials have for agreeing to settle with him um, after he filed what was allegedly a bogus claim? Right. He received about a million dollar settlement after he claimed he lost out on a contract to lease an airplane to the Democratic National Com Committee in 2008. Uh, airport officials never saw the contract, but they said they received assurances from Spencer's attorney that, they, that it existed, and they acted on the advice of their own attorneys who said their airport authority could be liable, so they came to a quick settlement. All right. Well, thank you very much, Imran. We appreciate it. And thank you, as always, for watching Political Empire. Catch you next time.